The African Cup of Nations 2022 will go down in living memory of poor refereeing, a lot of great, great games. And now we are down to the final 16. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Dugout Football Channel. This is my last 16 AFCON predictions. <laughs> Hello folks, welcome back to the Dugout Football Channel where I am going to give you my AFCON last 16 predictions. Congratulations to the 16 teams who have made it this far, um, especially to Komonos, Gambia and Malawi, all making the last 16. Absolutely fantastic, especially Komonos, Gambia making the finals for the first time ever and getting through to the last 16. Absolutely fantastic. Guys, get your predictions down in the comment section down below and we will see what I predict with the following games. So the first game to preview and predict is Sunday, 4 o'clock kickoff. It is two sides who have actually been very, very impressive. It's Burkina Faso against Gabon. Now, Burkina Faso got through a very good group with uh, Cameroon, Cape Verde and Ethiopia. Managed to finish second, whilst Gabon went through with Morocco, uh, Morocco um, as well, and obviously Comoros um, uh, and beat Ghana. As well, so this is a very, very interesting game. I think Burkina Faso looked very, very good in in qualif and you know the round of, uh, the group stage. They looked really, really good against Cameroon. They looked very good against Cape Verde and against Ethiopia. They were excellent, really, really good um, against Ethiopia. And I, I think, I think if you have to say this as well, they are looking very, very good to you know potentially go further on in this uh, in this competition. Um, yeah, I, I think. Many people would have pre predicted Burkina Faso to go through. Um, they would have predicted Burkina Faso to go through with Cameroon um, as well. So I, I do, I do think this is going to be a very, very good matchup. Gabon, they've done, they've managed it. They managed to get through a group with Morocco. Um, you know, obviously Ghana, um, you know, really, really played really poorly. But Gabon missing their two best players, Pierre Emerick Aubameyang, um, obviously gone uh, back to Arsenal with heart lesions. And also Mario Lamina um, as well. Both of these, both both players uh, will, would have been very, very good for them. But you have to say that someone's really, really stepped up to the plate, and that's that Bud Penza, who's been very, very good. Um, so Gabon, fair play to you, absolutely fair play to you as well. How do I see this one going? It's it's very, very tough. It is very, very tough to say, but I think this could go all the way. I think this could be one that could go all the way. Um, I'm going to go 1-1. One, one. I'm going to go 1-1 one, one throughout the 90 minutes. And then I think that this will go through extra time. And I think it might go to penalties. So I'm going to say that... I'm going to say Gabon will go through on penalties. I just feel they've got a little bit more than Burkina Faso. I think Gabon have been really, really good. Burkina Faso have been very, very good. But when it comes to the penalties, I've just got a feeling that Gabon will just have enough to beat Burkina Faso. But it's going to be it's going to be absolutely fascinating these you know these uh, round of sixteen games anyway. But uh, yeah, I'm going Bur Burkina Faso one, Gabon one, and Gabon to go through on penalties. That is my prediction for that one. And we will move on to the next game. And it is probably the, the 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 team that everybody has said has been the most impressive of these uh, of the African Cup of Nations. It's Nigeria against Tunisia. Nigeria topping the group 
with uh, Egypt uh, nine points from nine, looking very, very impressive. Three wins from three, uh, one nil over Egypt. 3-1 over Sudan, and then 2-0 against Guinea-Bissau. Tunisia uh, managed to go through uh, with, uh, you know, Mali and Gambia. Uh, you know, Tunisia, I think, won 4-0 against Mauritania. Um, Wabi Kazri was very, very impressive in that game. Uh, and they all, they've, you know, they also sort of followed that up as well. Um, Mali beat Tunisia 1-0, but the, the, the headlines were obviously about the referee in that game. Not good performance at all. So I look at I look at these two teams and look Nigeria. Probably many are going to probably fancy Nigeria, but this Tunisia side have got good good players amongst them. Obviously Hannibal Medjbri uh, from Manchester United, Wabi Kazri. I've obviously just talked about him as well. This is going to be a very very tricky game to you know predict. But I look at Nigeria and I just think this Nigeria side they mean business. They absolutely do. The Super Eagles they just mean absolute business. And I just feel that Nigeria are going to have too much for Tunisia. I think that Nigeria, as I've said, they've been very very impressive. Um, Moses Simon on the left um, is where he's been looking really really good. Joe Rebo, Kelechi and Nacho, even Taiwo Awonyi. They've got some very, very good players. And especially when you think at the start, there was a lot of tension, a lot of drama with the Nigeria side. But I have to say, this is going to be a very interesting game. Uh, I'm going to give Tunisia a goal. I think Tunisia will, will snatch a goal. But for me, I think Nigeria are too strong in this game. I'm going Nigeria 3, Tunisia 1. I think Nigeria will have too much for uh, Tunisia. So Nigeria 3, Tunisia 1. And that is the Sunday games. And we move on to the Monday games. And Monday, 4 o'clock, we have Guinea against Gambia. Um, Guinea going through a group with Senegal, uh, finishing second in that group. Gambia managed to finish second at their first ever African Cup of Nations as well. The Gambia have been absolutely fantastic. We'll talk about Guinea first. Nabi Keita, for me, has been their player of the tournament. He has been absolutely outstanding. Uh, managed to get a, a goal in the uh, you know in the in the last game there against Zimbabwe. And I have to say, you know, apart from Nabi Keita, you know, Guinea have been very very good. They have been very good. They managed to hold nil nil uh, Senegal to a nil nil draw. They beat Malawi 1-0 as well. And yeah, I know they lost against uh, you know, Zimbabwe, but they were already through at that point as well. But that the Guinea are playing very, very good football. And Nabi Keita is, is at the heart of that as well. Gambia have been superb. Absolutely superb. Uh, one woman in Mali, they could have probably won that game. They could have easily uh, won that game. They won it very late on against Tunisia. Absolute stunning strike from Barrow. Um, really, really great strike, that one. And then, um, and you have to say that the, the Gambia, had had they had their shooting boots on, they would have scored so many goals. They've got so, some lethal strikers in that team that strike the football really, really well. So this is going to be a very interesting game. I'm actually going to go for a wee upset. I'm going to go for a wee upset. I think Gambia are going to go through against... I think they're going to beat Guinea. I think they're going to beat Guinea. Um, I think Nabi Keita has been excellent for Guinea, let me put it this way. But apart from that, there's not really goal scorers in that team. Um, and, and, you know, I think you have to say that Keita has looked very, very dangerous uh, for, you know, to, to score uh, for sure. But I just feel Gambia... I just feel they're getting into the stride and I've got a feeling that this is going to be a 1-0 victory to the Gambians. I think Gambia are going to go through against Guinea and I'm going to go for a 1-0 win to Gambia. So, Nabi Keita and co, I'm afraid you are going home. And when we move on to the hosts, Cameroon against Comoros. Cameroon going through pretty, pretty comfortably in the end. Seven points. Two great wins against Burkina Faso and against Ethiopia. Had to come from behind in both of those. Uh, we have to remember that. But Vincent de Bubakar, uh, Toru Akambi, uh, and Guisa have been magnificent for Cameroon. Really, really impressive. I've been very, very impressed with the way that they've played. 
Congratulations to Comoros. They have made the last 16. Who would have predicted that? Absolutely amazing. I think you have been fantastic as well. Um, your goalkeeper uh, against Morocco, I mean, b- um, I, can't, I can't even remember his name. Bonnie Bonnie, is it? So, some, someone like that. He was absolutely amazing. Three tri- triple saves from, uh, uh, I think it was Messina. I think one was from Hikimi and then probably Roman Seiss was another one. Absolutely amazing uh, to, 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 to get that. But um, I'm afraid, I just feel that this, is, I think, will be the end of the road for Comoros. Um, I think Cameroon are just getting, as I said, I think as lo- uh, uh, with Nigeria, I feel that they're getting into their stride as well. So I'm going to go for a 3-0 victory to Cameroon. I just think Cameroon have got too much for Comoros. So I'm going to go for a 3-0 victory to Cameroon. But congratulations, Comoros. Last 16, I think you guys have definitely overachieved uh, for sure. But fantastic to get to the last 16. But I'm, I think it ends here. Cameroon 3, Comoros 0. And now we have Senegal against Cape Verde. Um, Senegal winning the group somehow. Uh, they managed to win 1-0 against Zimbabwe. 0-0 against Guinea. And then nil nil against um, against Malawi. Very very disappointing Senegal. Uh, one goal uh, they have scored this season, this this uh, tournament, and it was a Sadio Mane penalty in the very dying minutes against Zimbabwe. So Senegal Senegal haven't been great. They they were my pick at the start to win this thing, but now I'm not sure. Now I'm not sure the, the way that Senegal have been playing. Uh, they've not been great. They have not been great. Cape Verde on the other hand. I think I, I think I predicted them to actually go through third in uh, Cameroon's group. I just I just felt that, that they had more to more to give, and I felt that they were going to to go through anyway. But yeah, to get through a, a group as well, uh, being one of the best third place teams, absolutely magnificent. Very very well done. Uh, very very well done to them as well. Uh, they drew a Cameroon, didn't they? They drew a Cameroon and they beat Ethiopia as well. This is a really hard game to call because Senegal, I feel, will just get into their stride. Cape Verde, they're doing they're doing really, really good as well. I'm actually funny thing is Senegal are getting players back at the right team. They're getting Koulibaly back, they're getting Mendy back. I feel though that if Cape Verde can score very early on, then it might cause a wee upset. But I'm going to be bold and I'm going to say this will finish nil-nil after 90 minutes. And then I think Senegal will win one nil in extra time. So I'm going to go for a nil-nil draw through the 90 minutes and then Senegal to go through in extra time. That's what I think. So, yeah, I, I'm going to say Senegal to go through uh, one nil after extra time. And now we have Morocco against Malawi. Morocco uh, going through as you know group uh, group winners. It was in the end, which was very very uh, impressive. You'd have to say Malawi going through Senegal's group. I uh, have to say Malawi played very very well. You know, managing to get four points, a win over Zimbabwe, which was massive as well, and a nil nil draw with uh, Senegal, which was very, very impressive. But Morocco, for me, Morocco are starting to get into the stride again. Um, very good in in the group. Uh, I think they had uh, was a, um, they had a 1-0 win over uh, Ghana. They had a 2-2 draw with Gabon, which was an excellent game. If you, if you haven't watched the highlights of that, go watch that absolutely brilliant, uh, brilliant game of football, that one. Uh, and also they beat uh, Comoros as well. So, you know, very, very well done to Morocco. I'm um, going through with seven points as well. Congratulations to Malawi, you have to say. V- big, big up to Malawi um, as well. I, I feel that they've they've had a good tournament um, as well. But I feel Morocco, I just feel they're just getting into the stride ever so slightly. Sofia Bouffal has looked really, really impressive as well. I feel that Morocco are going to go through this one. I'm going to go Morocco 2, Malawi 0. I think Morocco will just have too much for Malawi. But Malawi, absolutely fantastic for you to get to the last 16 as well. And now we probably have the tie of the last 16. 
It is the elephants versus the pharaohs. It is Ivory Coast against Egypt. Ivory Coast going through very comfortably in the end, you have to say, um, winning uh, Group uh, E, um, beating Algeria on the last day, 3-1 um, as well. Algeria going out was a big, big shock, you'd have to say. Egypt, they lost to Nigeria, but to be fair, they won their next two games against Guinea-Bissau. Obviously, in controversial circumstances, Guinea-Bissau may have had a point in that game, but the, the big, big one for me, was the uh, the win against Sudan. They managed to win that. Uh, I think that was 1-0. Was it 1-0 or 2-0? I think it was 1-0, uh, wasn't it? So, Egypt haven't looked great. Egypt haven't looked great. Ivory Coast have looked okay in certain patches. I mean, you know, the, 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 the Algeria game, they were very, very clinical. Kessi, Pepe, Haller scored a couple of goals as well. So, it's it's been a very, very good tournament for Ivory Coast, I'd have to say. But, I've got a feeling that I just I look I look at this Egypt side and I, I I mean Mo Salah is definitely one of the players of the tournament. What one one of the one of the players that can get Egypt a result within seconds. But is he good enough to get this Egypt side to a la, like a, a last day a last four? I don't think so. So. Regrettably, I'm going to say that Egypt are going to go out. I think Egypt are going to go out. I'm going to go for Ivory Coast to pip Egypt. And I'm going to go for a 2-1 victory to Ivory Coast. I think Ivory Coast are just getting into their their move, their groove. And I just feel that Ivory Coast are, are one of the teams to beat at this competition. So I'm going to go for a 2-1 victory to Ivory Coast. And the final game to preview in the last 16 is Mali against Equatorial Guineas. Uh, Mali winning Group F very, very comfortably in there as well. And congratulations to Equatorial Guinea going through as well. Second place, I believe it was, uh, that they did uh, with uh, Ivory Coast as well. So very, very impressive. Mali Mali were many people's favourites to maybe be a dark horse. They've kind of been slowly getting into their, you know, their, their stride. 2 0 against Mauritania, which is very, very good. 1 1 against Gambia. Um, and 1 uh, 0 against Tunisia, obviously, in, you know, in uh, d- difficult circumstances, has to be said. Equatorial Guinea, very good win against Sierra Leone. It was as well. Uh, they were unlucky to lose to Ivory Coast, you have to say. Very, very unlucky to, to lose there. And they also got a very famous 1-0 win over Algeria as well. This is a really tricky one to call because both sides have been just going about it at, at, uh, at their own pace. And I feel that this is going to be what another one that goes to extra time. I, I have predicted a lot of these games to go to extra time, but when it comes to the last 16, you just don't know what's going to happen with these two. You just do not know what happens with these teams anyway. But I'm going to go for... I'm going to go for a 1-1 draw. I think Mali uh, won, Equatorial Guinea won. And then I think Mali will go through on penalties. I'm going to go for that to go to penalties. And that will be Mali 1, Equatorial Guinea 1, Mali to win on penalties. So that's what I think. Let me know what you think in the comments section down below. Uh, I will go for my predictions very quickly. So we have, let's see, Burkina Faso. Burkina Faso 1, Gabon 1, Gabon to go through on penalties. Nigeria 3, Tunisia 1, Guinea 0, Gambia 1, Cameroon 2, Comoros 0, Senegal 0, Cape Verde 0, Senegal to go through 1-0 on aggregate, uh, um, uh, after extra time, sorry. Uh, Morocco 2, Malawi 0, Ivory Coast 2, Egypt 1, and Mali 1, Equatorial Guinea 1, Mali to go through on penalties so there we go there is my last 16 predictions for you guys let me know what you think in the comment section down below and yes the last 16 begins on sunday i'm looking forward to it um as far as watch alongs are concerned not too sure at the moment i will keep you all updated as well maybe nigeria tunisia maybe on sunday 
but I'll obviously keep you keep you posted as well. Maybe one of the Monday games. I could do one of the Monday games for you guys. But uh, big big thank you for to for you all to watching this video. Uh, if you obviously have watched the end, and obviously please do uh, please do consider hitting that subscribe button. Smash the like when you leave this video as well. And yes, the last sixteen is about to begin. I'm looking forward to it. I'm pretty sure you guys are as well. So. From myself, it's goodbye, and I will see you all in the next video. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye for now. Enjoy the last 16. Cheers, guys.